I'm Jorge Ribas, and you're wondering. So here's a quick rundown on how Earthling alien encounters usually go down. Massive spaceship hovers over a city, or it lands in someone's pool. People look up, point, and panic, or they give hand signals and smile politely. They look like us, okay, they don't at all. They eat candy, or they eat us. They come in peace. We have come to visit you in peace. Or not. Time's up. So to get a real perspective on what our first alien contact might be like, Discovery Space producer Dave Mosher, that's him right there, recently met with... Seth Shostak, senior astronomer at the SETI Institute. SETI stands for the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. The Institute is a nonprofit organization that's surveying the sky to detect transmissions from civilizations on other planets. I think it's very likely that we're going to find some sort of extraterrestrial life within the next couple of dozen years. Between SETI using telescopes to listen in on distant galaxies and NASA sending rovers and satellites to explore moons and planets right here in our solar system, what kind of alien life form are we more likely to find? It's hard to say whether we'll first find very simple life, because there's probably a lot of that. But on the other hand, intelligent life might be making signals that would be easier to find from very great distance. So which one are I, am I betting on? I'm not sure, but I suspect we may find life on Mars before we find life around the stars. Of course, what SETI's looking for is something intelligent enough to transmit a signal. And if that happens, then what? There's the perception that if we were to find, for example, a signal coming from aliens, that everybody would, you know, riot in the streets, that they wouldn't be able to handle that news. The rumors of invading armies and mass destruction are based on hysteria and are absolutely false. To assume that, that everybody would go crazy is, is wrong. We'll, we'll just be interested to know what it is we found and what are they like. The SETI Institute, together with Cal Berkeley's Radio Astronomy Lab, is building the Allen Telescope Array, a project that, when completed, will consist of 350 antennas. And people often wonder, you know, what's the point? Suppose we find pond scum on Mars, for example. I mean, there's pond scum here on Earth. Do we need more pond scum? But, you know, if you found life on Mars, you could investigate it and find out, well, are we related to it? You know, are we descendants of Martians that hitchhiked? on a rock, you know, four billion years ago, made it to Earth and were their descendants. Wait a minute, but if that hypothesis is true, then that means the aliens are already here. And we're the aliens. 